I'll be the first one to admit I don't know what's going on here. But what I do know is this isn't right. Today's video was filmed by On Scene TV. Let's talk about what we all know to start with. We all know that every modern day fire engine in major metropolitan fire departments carry 500 gallons of water. Judging by the amount of firefighters in this video, there are at least two engine companies on scene. That means they have at the bare minimum 1,000 gallons of water to work with without being connected to a fire hydrant. These are the facts. So, at this point I have a question. Why does the firefighter on scene have to scream at the engineers to give them water? As long as the firefighters on scene understand they only have the water in the tank to work with, it is fine to give them the water. They will only hang it out so far. If they don't have a dedicated supply coming into the apparatus or it's necessary to save someone's life. This makes them look bad, like they're standing around while the house burns in the background. When the truth is, these seven guys want to go to work, but the engineers are not giving them the water. Come on, make it make sense. I am not sure if they were given instructions to not enter the structure because of some type of hazard or not, but I just add, this fire is not going to go out unless you go inside and put it out. The longer you let it burn, the more of a precarious situation develops. If you allow it to continue to burn, it will collapse and potentially injure someone. No life is worth a piece of property, but it is a dangerous job. Always has been. We take the metered risk to save lives and property. I understand the mindset of a lot of modern day fire departments. They don't want to injure their firefighters. That is admirable. The problem is, the art of firefighting is being lost. This may be hard to hear, but some of the people who are being promoted into the command ranks lack the experience necessary to recognize what is going on at fire incidents with the fires. This also results in misplaced resources and are inappropriate tactics being used at some incidents. Going through the testing process myself on the command level and testing prospective candidates, I've learned just because someone knows how to pass a test doesn't mean they're ready to lead a company of firefighters. If you dig past the surface level of the testing process, they usually fall apart. This fire is burning and will continue to burn until they put it out. We must do better.